In this video, we have a little discussion whether we should call bone marrow edema actually bone marrow lesion. So I was preparing this presentation about wrist MRI a few weeks ago when I came across an article in Skeletal Radiology where in the introduction they had a neat discussion about whether or that we actually should call bone marrow edema not bone marrow edema but bone marrow lesion. <laughs> And um, I have heard this before in other publications, but also in international meetings. And there seems to be like a trend to go into this direction. Now let me show you here this article first. You can see here in the introduction, in this fairly new article from December 2018 in Skeletal Radiology, the authors talk about bone marrow lesion and that it's basically synonymous with edema-like marrow signal, marrow edema-like signal or bone marrow edema pattern, all very clunky words, um, terms not very smooth to say. And actually, although they use bone marrow lesion here and introduce it and use it throughout the manuscript, they still use the term bone marrow edema in the title, probably because nobody searches in PubMed with the term bone marrow lesion. Now, what they argue is that um, there is little radiological pathological correlation between bone marrow edema and the actual stuff you see under the microscope, which is actually true. The term bone marrow edema was first used in a publication in 1988, if you believe uh, some articles, I didn't check that myself to be honest with you guys. Anyways, in that article in 1988, they had 10 patients with transient bone marrow edema of the hip or transient osteoporosis of the hip rather. And they performed histopathology in four of them and they didn't saw necrosis or anything else. So they came up with the term uh, transient bone marrow edema syndrome. And this is the publication here, as you can see, uh, 1988 and so 10 patients were followed up and there were no recurrences. And interestingly, for the lack of a better term and to emphasize the generic character of the condition, the authors termed this condition the transient marrow edema syndrome. Later in a publication by Zanetti, here from the Balgrist Hospital, they performed histopathology on knees that were later went to surgery for a total knee replacement. And here you can see what they actually found in the areas with bone marrow edema on MRI. These are the results from that study and you can see, although we have bone marrow edema on MRI, in histopathology in about half of these areas the bone is just normal fatty marrow and then um, we can have some intact trabecula, uh, there can be blood vessels, there can be bone marrow necrosis, abnormal trabecula and bone marrow fibrosis and only in 4%, which is this one here, in 4% there was evidence of bone marrow edema. And of course we can have bone marrow bleeding. So we should really have a discussion whether we should use bone marrow edema or bone marrow lesion as a term. At least in my daily reporting I use bone marrow edema. Um, so I'm reporting in German but nevertheless if, if I would use bone marrow lesion, even the German translation of that term, people would freak out probably because bone marrow lesion, the first thing that comes to my mind is something like some evil cancer stuff, okay? So I'd rather stick with the term bone marrow edema. I know and all the referring physicians, they know what it is. It's a generic term. It does, ne it does not necessarily mean there is an actual edema. Uh, it can have uh, a lot of different causes and whatever and in the end it doesn't really matter as long as it is not like a osteomyelitis or it's not um, some, some cancer or bone marrow infiltration with other cells. And in these circumstances if we have a suspected cause for uh, the bone marrow edema like signal or whatever you want to call it then I suggest to use the corresponding term. So in the setting of a trauma, for example, a knee distortion where you have the typical bone bruise pattern, stuff like that, I've used the term bone bruising or bone bruise there and not bone marrow edema because it's due to the contusion of the bone and it's more likely to be interosseous bleeding and not necessarily a edema in the histopathological sense. So how do you handle it? I would really be curious to get your opinion. Maybe it's uh, uh, it's related to the language and the translation 
Um, as I said in German, bone marrow lesion is not a really nice term. It might sound different in English or even in French or other languages. So please comment below um, how you approach the thing or what do you think about all this whole discussion regarding bone marrow edema versus bone marrow lesion.